You might be surprised to learn which celebrities were also U.S. military veterans. In this video, we pay tribute to 17 celebrities who served in the armed forces. Actor Ed Asner was best known for playing lovable grumps. He became famous as Lou Grant on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and decades later he starred in the Pixar animated movie Up. Asner served in the U.S. Army Signal Corps in the 1950s. During his service, he was assigned to tour army bases in Europe as a live stage performer. Ed Asner died August 29, 2021 of natural causes at the age of 91. Actor Wilford Brimley played an old man in Cocoon when he was just 50 years old. We remember him today for both his movie roles and his TV commercials for Quaker Oats and Liberty Medical. Brimley didn't get into acting until his 30s. Before that, he held a variety of jobs from cowboy to bodyguard to marine. He served in the U.S. Marine Corps for three years during the Korean War. Wilford Brimley died August 1, 2020 of a kidney condition at the age of 85. Actor and comedian Fred Willard was hilarious in TV shows and movies from Fernwood Tonight to Anchorman, and his improv skills were legend in mockumentaries like This Is Spinal Tap and Best in Show. Before all that, Willard attended prep school at the Kentucky Military Institute and went to college at the Virginia Military Institute. He served in the U.S. Army, stationed in Germany. Fred Willard died May 15, 2020 of cardiac arrest at the age of 86. Musician Bill Withers was a Grammy winner for beloved songs Ain't No Sunshine, Just the Two of Us, and Lean On Me. His songwriting skill and warm vocals earned him a spot in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Withers joined the U.S. Navy when he was 17 years old. He went on to serve for nine years working as an aircraft mechanic. Bill Withers died March 30, 2020 of heart complications at the age of 81. Actor Gene Wilder was unforgettable as Willy Wonka and in many beloved comedies of the 1960s through 80s. His classics included the Mel Brooks films The Producers, Blazing Saddles, and Young Frankenstein. After studying acting in college, Wilder was drafted into the U.S. Army. He served as a paramedic for two years. Gene Wilder died August 29, 2016, of complications of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 83. Actor Leonard Nimoy was iconic as Star Trek's Mr. Spock, a role he played for almost 50 years across TV, movies, and video games. His portrayal of the brilliant and logical half-human, half-Vulcan influenced decades of science fiction. Nimoy served in the U.S. Army Reserve in the 1950s. For some of that time, he performed with Army Special Services, writing, narrating, and emceeing shows. Leonard Nimoy died February 27, 2015, of complications of COPD at the age of 83. Actor James Avery was one of the beloved sitcom dads of the 1990s as Phil Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He was also the voice of Shredder on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Avery joined the U.S. Navy in 1964, serving for four years during the Vietnam War. James Avery died December 31, 2013 of complications of open heart surgery at the age of 68. Actor Sherman Hemsley became a star playing George Jefferson in All in the Family and its spin-off, the groundbreaking sitcom The Jeffersons. He was also known for roles in Amen and Dinosaurs. Hemsley left high school to join the U.S. Air Force. He served for four years and was stationed in Japan and Korea. 
Sherman Hemsley died July 24, 2012, of lung cancer at the age of 74. Actress B. Arthur was a sitcom legend thanks to her starring roles in Maud and The Golden Girls. She was also a Tony Award winner for her performance in Maine. Arthur was one of the first women to join the newly created U.S. Marine Corps Women's Reserve during World War II. She served as a typist and as a truck driver, rising to the rank of Staff Sergeant. B. Arthur died April 25, 2009 of lung cancer at the age of 86. Comedian Johnny Carson hosted The Tonight Show for an amazing 30 years. His monologues, interviews, and comedy sketches influenced late night TV for years to come. Carson joined the U.S. Navy in 1943, serving in the Pacific during World War II. He was an amateur boxer while in the Navy, with an undefeated record of 10-0. Johnny Carson died January 23, 2005, of respiratory arrest due to emphysema. He was 79. Musician Johnny Cash was a legend of country music. From early singles like I Walk the Line and Folsom Prison Blues to his later years covering songs like Hurt, his music was electrifying and unforgettable. Cash joined the U.S. Air Force in 1950 and served as a Morse code operator, intercepting Soviet Army transmissions. It was in the Air Force that the star got his name. At birth, he was simply named J.R. Cash. But the military wouldn't accept an initial for his first name, so he named himself John. Johnny Cash died September 12, 2003, of complications of diabetes at the age of 71. Artist and TV host Bob Ross was best known for his PBS show, The Joy of Painting. He taught viewers how to quickly paint a landscape, peppered with friendly suggestions like, let's add some happy little trees. Ross honed his artistic skill while serving in the U.S. Air Force. He spent much of his 20-year military career stationed in Alaska, where he took a painting class and was inspired by the local scenery. He retired from the Air Force as a Master Sergeant. Bob Ross died July 4, 1995, of complications of lymphoma at the age of 52. Singer, dancer, and actor Sammy Davis Jr. was one of the most beloved entertainers of the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. A member of the Rat Pack and a Las Vegas fixture, he starred in movies like the original Ocean's Eleven and recorded hit songs like The Candyman. Davis was drafted into the U.S. Army in 1943 during World War II. He later said that all the fights he got into in the Army permanently flattened his nose. Before his discharge from the military, he performed for the troops as a member of Army Special Services. Sammy Davis Jr. died May 16, 1990, of complications of throat cancer at the age of 64. Actor Steve McQueen was known as the King of Cool thanks to such movies as The Thomas Crown Affair, Bullet, and The Towering Inferno. Later, he left Hollywood behind and took up motorcycle racing. McQueen enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps when he was 17 years old. After initially having a hard time with the discipline and landing himself in military prison, he straightened up and came to appreciate the Marine lifestyle. Steve McQueen died November 7, 1980, of a heart attack after surgery to remove cancerous tumors at the age of 50. Roberto Clemente was one of baseball's all-time greats. A 15-time All-Star, he led the Pittsburgh Pirates to two World Series championships. He was the first Latin American inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Clemente joined the U.S. Marine Corps Reserve while he was already playing in the major leagues. He served six years, fulfilling his military commitment during the off-season. 
Roberto Clemente died December 31, 1972, in a plane crash while delivering aid to earthquake victims in Nicaragua at the age of 38. Jackie Robinson is remembered as one of the most important figures in the history of baseball. He was the first black player in the major leagues, opening the door to racial equality in sports. He helped the Brooklyn Dodgers win the World Series in 1955. Robinson was drafted into the U.S. Army in 1942, and he helped break down another racial barrier as one of the first black soldiers accepted to officer candidate school. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant. Jackie Robinson died October 24, 1972, of a heart attack at the age of 53. Saxophonist John Coltrane was one of the greatest jazz musicians ever. His 1965 album, A Love Supreme, is considered a masterpiece of the genre. Coltrane enlisted in the U.S. Navy the day the atomic bomb was detonated in Hiroshima. He was stationed in Pearl Harbor and he joined the bass's band, the Melody Masters. His first jazz recordings were made while he was serving. John Coltrane died July 17, 1967 of liver cancer at the age of 40. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to discover the latest obituary news headlines and honor fascinating lives.